Hi, everybody. There's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to take the Xing Yi experiment a little bit deeper and explore the opening that uh, is a, that I learned for a uh, the Xing Yi for a bunch of Xing Yi forms that uh, I want to explore it as an energy exercise, so less of a uh, martial arts uh, uh, practical application and more just a way of exploring your jin. So jin is a topic that I've come up, I've, I've discussed many times uh, over the, the few last few years, and it's a way of feeling internal power. I want to make a distinction here between your chi, your energy, and your jin. So it's something I've discussed before, but uh, uh, bears repeating. That is, your energy is that which animates you. That uh, uh, and it comes in various flavors, various expressions. But the jin is your internal power, and that's where you are combining your chi, your energy, with your physical form, your your muscular strength, as well as uh, uh, you know, all the way, the parts of your body getting together and, and moving in a coordinated way. And so your jin is, and that's spelled J-I-N, and that's um, it's something that we cultivate. It's sort of this bridge between the physical, the mental, and, and the spiritual in our, uh, in our practice. We are able to not only feel the chi, feel the energy, but to actually express it in a useful way in through our bodies. And something that, you know, power is, uh, people have an ambivalent relationship to power. And I just like to take a moment to speak on its behalf and say that, you know, particularly people get to be my age, they there's a general tendency to see your power decrease. That is, you know, your uh, people oftentimes have a reduction in brain function and they lose muscle mass. There's a, uh, a bone mass gets uh, uh, deteriorates. They're not as able to move as quickly. Joints tend to deteriorate. These are different things that, um, that happen, sort of people expect it as they get older. And I just like to say, maybe not. Maybe we don't have to go that route. Or maybe at least we can slow down this process of entropy of our physical form and just pump the brakes a little bit and even reverse it and actually increase our power uh, as we get older. And really want to distinguish right here. I'm talking about power. I'm not talking about physical strength, although that can be a component of power. What I'm talking about power in general is the ability to do stuff, whatever you're, the stuff it is you're doing, the power to drive a car, the power to uh, operate a computer. Yeah, you know, Whatever it is you decide to do, it requires power. That is, you're, you need to be able to engage the activity in such a way that you can make it do what you want it to do. And uh, the, the first step in getting more power is to choose to do so, to say, yes, yes, please, I'd like a little more power. And in so doing, you begin the process of amplifying your personal power. You increase your ability to occupy space and time, your ability to move freely throughout, your ability to make things happen. And um, this is essential to the, uh, to the Chinese internal martial arts. And it, the more you can embrace that, accept your, your, your power and enjoy it, the, I believe the happier you become. So the uh, uh, to, you know, to clarify, we're not talking about 
power over people. We're talking about your personal power, your ability to to make things happen. So, uh, in so doing, we're going to uh, we're going to explore the uh, the opening movement of the of uh, of the Shingi form that I know. The the it's not just one form; it's a it's a bunch of different ones, but they all start off with a similar kind of uh, kind of uh, action and. Uh, but by breaking down, oftentimes it's done kind of perfunctorily and just like we do with the Taiji Tran form, you know, we want to really slow it way down and feel the internal connections that are being established. Because this sets the stage for whatever follows. You know, last week we last couple of weeks we we did uh, exercises to uh, explore the different energies, you know, the um uh, of, of Shingi, the five elements. And uh, this, whatever we do in that direction is enhanced by entering into it as a an opportunity to grow each time we do it. So why don't you stand up and we'll, uh, we'll look at uh, some of that. Okay, so let's start off with our three pillars. And um, have your feet together for this one. And feel uh, settle into the balls of your feet. Unlock your knees. You want to feel your central equilibrium. So reach with the crown of your head, tuck in your chin. Open up the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull. Feel yourself sinking down into, into your feet, through your feet and into the earth. Imagine like you're an hourglass and your feet are the neck of the hourglass and the sand is moving down through your feet and into the earth, filling up the space below your feet, you're establishing your root below. Reach with the crown of your head and you're reaching for the, for the heavens. You're opening up the Niwan Gong, the, uh, uh, the spiritual center in, the, in your brain. Relax your lower back and soften your you know, soften your lower back and allow it to your your pelvis to line up to even out. And point with your index fingers and feel your energetic coherence. Feel the sense of wholeness that that creates in your body mind. And reach with your elbows. Open up your hip joints. Just relax that and feel yourself sinking down into your legs, relaxing the hip. And by leveling out the pelvis, you make that easier to move to be sung kwa, have that relax into the hip joints. Reach with your elbows, just slightly, just enough to round the arms and open up the shoulder joints. And we kind of pause here, just feel into the, uh, feel into your arms and your hands, feel the chi. Now we're now going to go right into the the opening for the Xingyi Chen and sink 
bend your knees and sink down a little bit. You're dropping down. And as you do that, you're raising your hands. You're carrying. So just feel that, um, that sense of two opposing poles there. That is, your body is dropping. Your hands are raising. You're, as if you're carrying the... Uh, the chi carrying the uh, the space and then come up and drop that down again and just feel into your hands and notice that little little exercise there that little little motion we did how much it amplified your energy in your hands your arms feel the blood circulating in your forearms in your fingers Feel the energy there in your in the palms of your hands. Let's do that again. Just sink down. As you do that, you're carrying. Feel like you're there's like the weight of space is pushing down on your hands. And you're gathering this energy in. You're receiving. There's a paradox here, and that is you're gaining power by becoming weak. That is, you're receiving your receptive yin mode. Consequently, you're able to then feel more of this gift of the big chi coming in, the nature chi coming in and filling you up. And then come back up and drop your hands. And just feel that. Notice that it amplified even more. So we're doing a very small investment in motion here to create a big effect energy-wise. This energy is our basis for our jinn. The jinn is some combination of muscle and energy. And that's going to vary, you know, due to circumstance, what you want to achieve. So getting what proportion that you feel that the chin to be, what proportion of energy and physicality is going to vary moment to moment. Yeah, so let's do that one more time. So you're sink, you gather. Feel the heaviness in your hands. Feel the, the loud gong points in the palms of your hands. Those are energy gates there right at the on the pericardium meridian. And they take the, the excess energy from your heart and and goes down your arms and out your through the palms of your hands. But you're holding these little little bubbling wells there of, of chi in your hands now. Good. Now, you're going to reach out with your elbows very slowly. Just feel that. Feel that you're reaching with the elbows. Now you're reaching with the wrists. Arms are rounded. Around. In front of you. Pressing down with your hands, reaching up with the crown of your head. Sink to your heels and press down with your hands. And stop at about belt high. Arms are rounded. Elbows are out, opening their shoulders, feeling your back, feeling your scapula. 
and pressing down with your hands. But your arms are very relaxed. You're assuming a shape. Here again, we're weak. We're feeling the power of the big chief filling us up. We get that paradox again. We're getting stronger by becoming weaker. You're using your muscles to create a shape, but at the same time, you're releasing muscular tension so that the energy can move through you. And then bring your hands down and feel, feel the energy circulating now throughout your whole body. Feel it in your feet. And now uh, sink, palms come up. You feel that your body is sinking, your hands are lifting. Reach with your elbows. You're pulling back and out, opening. Opening your shoulder blades, your shoulders, your elbows, everything, reach around in front. Feel that, particularly now, just feel that your shoulders, shoulder, the space between your shoulder blades, opening up, reaching with the elbows, fingers. Very relaxed, but at the same time, very expanded. So we're in this very young position right now and the balls of your feet and then sink into your heels and reach down with your elbows, down with your wrists, down with your hands. And this time when you get to the belt, you're going to, the hands are going to turn into soft fists. your hands down, we'll do that one more time. Sink, go to the balls of your feet, hands come up, feel the weight. Reach for the elbows, your wrists, open, open the joints. Reach for the elbows, open your back, feel that young expansion. Sink at your heels and press down. Feel the yin. Hands turn to fists. Sink into the heel of your right foot and the right fist comes up your center line. So your center line right there and your right fist comes up the center line, left fist, palm down, presses down and you turn, turn to your left and reach out. And what, in this position, you're reaching out, extending up and to your left with your right hand. Your left hand is pressing down. So we're getting these poles in opposition here. You're opening up your back, feeling between your shoulder blades, feeling your shoulder blades and your hips lined up. 
Feel your hands and your feet lined up with them connected internally. You want to feel the opposition between your hands, between your hands and your feet, between your the crown of your head and the, the soles of your feet. Reach through the elbows, opening the, the shoulder joints. Now bring your left hand up your center line. You got the fist there, comes up your center line. Up to about chin height. And then step out with your left foot, reaching with your left hand, right hand presses down. So this is we. We covered this last couple of weeks with the sand t-shirt. So we're now in that, in that posture. You're reaching out with that, that left arm straight out to the side. Right hand is, right thumb is pointing at your navel. So your elbow, your arm is rounded. Your hands pointing at your navel. Your weight is about 60%. 70% in your right leg. You're opening up the crotch area as you're reaching out here, opening up your back. Feel that, feel that expansion there between your shoulder blades. Feel your spine. Feel your shoulder blades connecting up with your hips, your hands and your feet, elbows and ankles. I'm sorry, wrists and ankles, elbows and knees. And draw that in, step back. And pause. Yeah, we're, again, we're, we're feeling into the, the chi, which then feeds the jin. We're amplifying our chi. So the, the more energy we can get going in the system, the less muscle we need in order to express the jin. Right, so let's do that again. So sink and your knees sink down as your hands come up. Pause and feel that. Reach with your elbows, open your shoulder joints. Want to connect your lower and upper parts of your body. Feeling those oppositions. Reach with your elbows, wrists, opening, circling around. And this is, we're doing this in a more exaggerated fashion that you might ordinarily, if you're looking at doing this as more of a martial expression, we're exaggerating this for energy purposes, for chin purposes. Feel that, you know, in the balls of your feet, feel that yang expansion. Reach with your elbows and open your shoulder blades. Reach with the crown of your head and then sink into your heels and Ah, feel that yin sinking down, down, down. Hands turns into fists at belt high. And we're in this yin state right now. And we're gathering, we're mobilizing the chi before we express it. Right fist comes up your center line. Turn, reach out with your fist. Reach down with your left hand. Your weight is about 80% in your right leg now. You're opening up 
you're feeling those poles in opposition, you're rooting through that right leg. It's a substantial leg. There's a spiral in your body and you're gathering chin from that spiral. Bring your left hand up your center line, up to chin height, and then step out with your left foot, reach down, pull down with your right hand, reach out with your left. So facing you, it looks like this. Notice that my heels are, are lined up. My right foot is turned out on a 45. My navel's on a 45. My eyes are looking through the uh, the tiger's eye there in my between my thumb and, and forefinger, reaching down with my hand, but reaching out and around with my elbow, my right elbow, my left elbow. Notice it's not out to the side here, it's dropped. So it's coming straight out from the shoulder. And my hand is, is right there in front of my face. So I get, I get this kind of, kind of look. The <clears throat> crotch is open, you're rounding that, you're sinking down into it. And just feel the power growing in your body as you do this. Feel the power growing from the sentient position. And just holding this for you know any length of time, you can feel the lengthening of your sinews. You're, you're not contracting your muscles, you're expanding them, you're lengthening them. So instead of you know, pulling in like in, a, uh, like in a muscular contraction, it's instead we're lengthening the, the, uh, the sinews and opening up. And this allows the chi to move more freely allows us to express the energy through the body at chin. And then step in and hands come down. And just relax into that neutral posture for a moment. Just empty out and feel weak. Allow yourself to attract the nature chi. And you're creating a structure that allows the energy to move freely through, through your body. Just allow that energy to circulate. Take a deep breath. And sink into your heels, disappear the chi. Okay, please have a seat. It went really nicely. I just, you know, a really way to like build that theme through that. I really like the gathering that you did at the beginning, right? The holding. Hopefully you didn't kill my husband. No, um, no. And the... <laughs> and how that allows you to build that chi that, that you can then expand out into the santa share. The gin, yeah. Yeah, into the gin. 
Great, great, thank you. It, uh, yeah, breaking it down, like, uh, even that uh, going to the other side, I, I just realized I never never did that before. I just, I've always gone, always gone to the left, but I've never really done to the right. So I had to kind of rethink it as I was doing it. And uh, so that was, that was cool. Actually, it gave me a, um, it was a little something different and uh, opened up certain channels. So um, that's great. Cool. Um, in terms of gin, how did that feel? Were you able to uh, to feel something different, you know, from this? Valerie. Yes, definitely. It um, also made me very aware of the tension in my back. So I was continually working on letting the shoulders down and expand. Um, so that was a good practice in and of itself. Um, gonna sound strange. I have lightning bugs in my fingers. <laughs> and they're shining. Shiny, shiny and fingers. They're buzzing. And nice. They're shooting out little stuff. Um, <laughs> Glow in but, the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Let me turn off all the lights. I'll show you. <laughs> nice. But I did like that. You know, I don't like that I have the tension in my back, but I like that I was able to really work on it and get deeper levels of relaxation. It's really um, getting that. Getting that open like that is like, ah, that's not something we do a lot of. That, right. that, that reaching outward, there's a yeah. you know, something, there's an aversion that, that we have to reaching. And you know, so much of our lives are, is, is a contraction. So to actually have an exercise where you're, you're, oh, you're really opening and, and feeling that is, and not just stretching, but right. feeling power the power that, that comes in that. Jonathan, you had something. Yeah, well, going along with Valerie there, I found the back to be the most uh, uh, interesting, stimulating part of this for me too. And yeah, I mean, we do a lot of reaching, but there's something about like scapula or origination here that this brings out. Like, oh, that's where the arm goes back to. It's like, mm. that's a whole bunch of territory behind the shoulder, which blocks all kinds of information. So much traffic gets caught up there that you don't realize, well, behind the shoulder and a little down is where, you know, the movement is kind of originating from, right? I mean, it's the arm kind of connects back there, right, to the scapula. I don't feel my scapula much. This particular exercise you did more than anything I've done with you, and you you have emphasized at times, isolated the scapula for me, but this whole series seemed to bring that bring that around. I think Valley must have felt that too because we both felt stuff with the back with mm -hmm. this particular exercise. Beautiful. Beautiful. Eloquently stated. Thank you. So yes, that, that's that mm, getting that that connected up there. So we can get this power in the arms without a lot of muscular contraction. In fact, the opposite of muscular contraction, it's, it's a lengthening. You know, it's a mm, we're pulling this Pulling these guys wide open, and and it's a it's a very different kind of power than you get from doing a lot of biceps curls or or bench presses. And once again, it's your bag of subtle tricks you can do a thousand times a day. Just you know, it's it's ten a.m. Do you know where your scapula is? It's, it's, it's... <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Just just mm, just feeling that ah, that doing and. Each step of the way, we're reclaiming our power. Yeah, that's our, it. Like, and it's like, yes, you know, it's it's a, you know, it becomes a firm policy, you know, of like, yes, I'm going to be better off next year than I am this year. I'm going to be better off in five years than I am now, that kind of a thing. So it's just keep, you know, just keep expanding rather than this slow decay that, uh, you know, is... Uh, you know, seems to be a general agreement. And we're saying, nah. 
but it's astonishing how much just awareness of the connection, you know, creates power, right? I yes. mean, putting consciousness on that alone seems to generate power. Incredible, yes. In that idea of, of, of getting more powerful but becoming weak, you know, yes, is that's a that, great, that paradox. That is a and, wonderful way to put that. That is you know, like, oh, okay. I don't, I, I'm not working. <laughs> I think Lynn had her first Valerie's eager, but <laughs> I think Valerie's dying to say something. Okay, Valerie, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I I for me, weak was the wrong word. Soft, perhaps. So I, I, I did not feel weak. Weak to me, um, it's powerless. And I was anything but powerless. It was, it's very soft. It doesn't feel weak to me. And maybe I'm missing something. I, 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 I certainly understand that. I, I, for me, it's, a, it's a more of a mental thing. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know I'm not weak in those postures, but if I'm thinking, you know, letting go weakening in order to become more powerful. So then it's, I'm then able to harness, to receive and harness the nature chi better than, than just soft. Soft is, you know, I actually don't feel soft. I feel, you know, um, elongated. I feel all kinds of things, but um, it, uh, Maybe but it's open. Feel open. I feel open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have something, Nick? That's exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> it's open. open. Yeah. Yeah. Are so you, that, yeah. The weakening just when you said it, it didn't make sense to me, so I just ignored it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but it doesn't have a male female divide. <laughs> <laughs> but I felt big, right? As we, you know, when I was in the Santa shirt and I was expanding, I just felt so much bigger, right? And that it was kind of like, I mean, I this I have this image only afterwards, but you know, I felt kind of like Statue of Liberty, -y, not holding a torch, but Santa shirt, Statue of Liberty, -y, like just expanding and out there and you know, immovable. Mm -hmm. Right, which I don't know if that's yeah. a chin or, <laughs> you know. That, that's, that, that, that's what, I mean, just when you did it, I I, I see the gin, yeah. you know, I see it. So it, it's definitely, that's happening. That Just by the fact of stretching, reaching out, lengthening, feeling the tensegrity in your sinews is going to create more gin. Yeah. The energy is going to move <clears throat> more freely and it it's going to have that, that supple, soft power that we are going for. Maybe receptive rather than resistive. Receptive rather than resistive. Okay. For sure. Like for sure. Let's yeah. get into like, you know, yeah. resisting is strong, but receptive is weak. And it's it's a word thing. Yeah. It's interesting that you know Jonathan's observation about the male female divide here too about about weak was it was interesting because it's something the, the term weak is something that Master Yang, you know, Yang Fu Kui uh, uses when he's, when he's talking about this. And it's something that if males have this tendency to right. to, exactly. to want to layer up the, right. the, the muscle and say, no, no, weaken, let, let it right. go. So it, it's a signature to let go of that, that, that impulse to, right. to tighten up. Go ahead, Jonathan. It, it, I think it speaks to us men directly because we know there's a false sense of tense strength and you want us to get rid of that. Right. Because, and I think women are burdened so much with that sense of mm, strength. Mm -hmm, they may have a deeper sense of what strength really means. Yeah, but the, if, if the word uh, that weak doesn't doesn't appeal to you, that, you know, like Lynn did, just ignore it. <laughs> 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 you know, or translate it into soft or whatever it is that, it, but the, the basic idea there is we are, letting go muscular tension in order to become more powerful yeah that's the you know, the bottom line of it you know scott uh yeah i would say that weak isn't the right word but i knew what you were getting at and 
yeah, I, I don't, whatever the, you know, I don't really have the word for it, but I had the feeling for it. So yeah. I just yeah. translate that feeling. I, um, after probably the third time that you said relaxed fist, I really relaxed the fist and really, it really made a difference. Yeah. And then I realized that when I had my hand open, I was holding the same tension that I was holding when I had a fist. Mm. Mm. So I had to let let go of the fist that I was holding when I had my had hand open. It was really, really yeah. interesting. It really very helpful. And I noticed I noticed that the stretch with the um, with reaching too that I'm I was reaching with trying to reach with muscle. You know, I was trying to stretch with the muscles, and I realized, well, that's not that's counterproductive. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful beautiful so yeah a lot of releasing that was yeah i feel much better than i did when i got here and tracking with the uh, you know just feeling the chi in your arms and the hands and stuff like that everybody's uh on board with that oh yeah because for me no, it was you know absolutely it was, it, yeah. it was cranked up to 11 so uh yeah yeah <clears throat> I like the word carrying because there is there. It's like you have just a a wonderful load of chi that you're cradling there in your arms. You know, so, and you, yeah, you, you feel it immediately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. And, yeah. You know, like John's was saying, you know that you know just just in that first part there where you're just lifting your hands and feeling those vortexes in your in the palms of your hands you know do it a hundred times a day it's a uh, you know every time you do it it just raises the bar you know it just keeps keep pushing pushing your game up to the next level hmm. awesome thank you all so much it's been a lot of fun thank and, you uh, thank, thank you maria thank you maria thank you maria thanks maria bye bye, bye.